Audio 5.1. The sun. It wakes us up in the morning, provides us with light and heat, and if it were a person, it would be about 40 years old. The sun is, in fact, around 4.5 billion years old, and it's about halfway through its life. At some point in the future, probably in about 5 billion years, the sun will start to die. In practical terms, the sun is a star located about 150 million kilometers from Earth. It's made up of hydrogen and helium. At its equator, the sun completes a rotation every 26 days. But the sun means much more to us than this. Look at any of the ancient cultures, and you'll find the sun has an important role. There are over 3,000 structures in dozens of countries, from Stonehenge in England to the Mayan pyramids, from the dancing stones of Kenya to solar temples in India. Each of the constructions shows our fascination with the sun. The sun was worshipped by Aztecs, Incas, Egyptians, Greeks, and Romans. We can only guess at some of the details, but all we know is that the sun was worshipped across the whole planet. Both the sun and the moon influence humanity's view of time, and calendars have been based on each of them. Many people today still associate a suntan with health and well-being, but in the past, this was certainly not always the case. Back in the 16th century in Europe, very pale skin was considered beautiful, and some people would either stay out of the sun completely or use lead oxide and arsenic, two highly toxic chemicals, to achieve the desired pale effect. As you can imagine, neither of the two was very good for you and poisoning was not uncommon. Today, however, some people have more than enough exposure to the sun and visits to tanning salons are not uncommon. In the USA alone, some 22 million customers visit them. The sun is vital to life on Earth. All plants depend on sunlight for photosynthesis and, in turn, plants are vital for feeding humans. Neither plants nor humans could exist without the sun. Without enough exposure to the sun, the body fails to generate vitamin D, which helps to regulate both the immune system and the correct functioning of proteins and minerals. Aside from this, a number of other bodily functions such as our internal body clock, nervous system, and state of mind all depend on exposure to the sun. Audio 5.2 1. Look at any of the ancient cultures and you'll find the sun has an important role. 2. The sun completes a rotation every 26 days. 3. Each of the constructions shows our fascination with the sun. 4. All we know is that the sun was worshipped across the whole planet. Audio 5.3 1. There's loads of light in the house. 2. Some people might think there's a lack of privacy. Anyone can see inside. 3. One problem is where to put cupboards and shelves. With all those windows, there's a real shortage of wall space. Audio 5.4 1. What's that you're taking? It's a new vitamin complex pill. I came across it in the health food store. What's it supposed to do? Well, it says on the box... Uh, it builds up your immune system. It helps prevent colds and other minor ailments. It supplies all of your daily recommended dose of vitamins A, D and E. <laughs> Sounds like just what I need. It sounds too good to be true to me. Ah, uh, no, that's where you're wrong. Vitamins are good for you. Mm, vitamins may be, but I'm not so sure that vitamin supplements are. Well, I don't know about that. 
But I think it's a good idea. Two. I've just discovered I've put on two kilos. I've got to do something about it fast. Okay. If you're really serious about getting fit, you could take up running. You know, do five kilometers a day. You could start running one a day and build up. Ah, no, you're kidding, aren't you? That sounds too much like hard work. I guess so. You've got a point there. Perhaps you should try cutting down on fatty food. You do eat fries with everything. You're absolutely right. Now, where's that article I was reading last week on superfoods? Here it is. Yeah, look, it says here you should cut out potato chips, fries, and that sort of thing, and eat more superfoods. Superfoods? What are they? You know, things like blueberries, grapefruit, pistachios. Really? I'd no idea there were such things as superfoods. But you can't live on those alone. You need to be sensible, or you'll never keep it up. Audio 5.5 A scarcity of A complete lack of An excess of A shade of A significant amount of